Good morning. My name is Kennedy. I'm from the United States in Oregon, and I'm currently teaching abroad in Cabrera, Dominican Republic. I have been teaching here for about almost five months now, um, and I'm really excited to take you guys and show you what it's like to live here. So it is almost about 7 a.m., and I start my morning by teaching online with a company called GoGo Go Kid. Um, and once I'm finished with my class today, I only have one. I will give you a apartment tour um, and take you to school with me because once I leave for the morning, I don't get back until around 4 o'clock. So I have a long day at school. So I will talk to you guys after my class. Okay, so this is my apartment complex. Mine is right there. This is my street. The ocean is right there, so that's pretty nice. This is the hospital, police station. So walking into the apartment, this is my front porch, my boyfriend's motorcycle, which is how I get around. And you walk in. This is the living room. We have our tree up for Christmas. Dining room table. Walk over here and we have a little bitty kitchen. So, yes. After the kitchen, we can go out here and we have our outdoor washing area with a sink and then you come over here we have our little bathroom this is the second bedroom which is where i do my online teaching they're pretty good sized rooms and then we walk over here and we have my bedroom pretty big size closets and yeah so as I just mentioned, my boyfriend has a motorcycle here, and so that is how we get around. Um, he usually takes me to school and picks me up from school. Um, so yeah, that's really helpful. He's actually a local here, so that's also really helpful. Um, he helps me out with a lot. He knows much more than I do. Um, so yeah, he's actually not here today. He's working right now, so I will be taking a moto concho to school today, which is a motorcycle taxi. So I will show you guys my walk to get the moto concho and a little bit of how I get to school and if you have any questions I will leave the question box right here and I will answer them when I get a chance little clothing outdoor store here so this is the center part of Cabrera it's called the park and this is where you can get a moto concho and this is little bar and ice cream Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> so I will show you the school a little bit more when I have a break in about 30 minutes. Um, but I am the official third and fourth grade combination teacher here. Um, and so this is an English immersion school. And so um, the kids are fully taught in English. And um, it's a pretty wide variety of my levels. I have some students who can speak fluent English and it's great, but I have some that are still struggling with English. So I do use a lot of Spanish in the classroom um, because I have to for them to understand. Um, but anyway, today is kind of a fun day because it's our last day before Christmas break. So we have all of our Christmas shows. Um, my class is singing a song, so I'll show you guys that a little bit later. 
so and I'll answer some questions soon. So I had to put my hair up because it is hot, but I wanted to show you a little bit more. If we go in the school. Hello. Hello. We have outdoor classrooms. Hola. And these are the younger kids. So these were just recently built. This is the second and third grade class. Here are some of the other classrooms. This is the fifth, sixth classroom. Fourth, fifth classroom. Hi, Mr. Dan. Hi. <laughs> so I thought I would introduce you to one of my awesome students, Brittany. Hello. And hello. Uh, what is your favorite part about my class? Uh, I like when you teach math. Math. She loves math. Thank you, Brittany. Say bye. Bye. Bienvenidas a nuestra celebración de Navidad acá en el colegio El Faro de Cabrera. Libby les desea a todos una feliz Navidad. Okay, I am finally home from a long day. I'm so excited. It was the last day and I'm headed back to the States uh, tomorrow morning to be with my family for the holidays. So I wanted to take a second and sit down and answer some of the questions that I got. Okay, so a big question that I've gotten so far was um, how did I find this place? Why did I choose this place? Um, and kind of along those lines. So I actually volunteered here at a different school um, called the Esperanza Project La two summers ago and I fell in love with this place and I wanted to come back so I kept coming back and then that's also how I met my boyfriend which you guys will meet soon um, and we kind of kept talking and then I kind of decided that I had my foot in here and knew a lot of people and I wanted to start my teaching abroad career here uh, so that's why I did it and I found Faro de Cabrera just by word of mouth I guess and being here and meeting the locals and yeah Another big question that I've gotten was about my Spanish, and that's a good question. I didn't know any Spanish when I first came here, like not even a little bit, um, but by coming back and meeting my boyfriend who doesn't speak any English, I've become very good in Spanish, so I am not quite fluent yet, but I'm getting there, I'm learning, I speak it every day, obviously, so I would say pretty soon I will consider myself fluent. So another big question was about the requirements and I have my bachelor's degree and my TEFL and TESOL certification. I don't have a bachelor's degree in education. Um, there's honestly a teacher that works at the school um, who doesn't even have a bachelor's degree. So if you are worried about the requirements, honestly apply anyway because they take a lot of people and they're always looking for people and it's a great place to work and as long as you have some experience with kids and you're good with kids and you do great interview I think that you would be good but yeah so it's really preferred to have a bachelor's degree and TEFL and TESOL but um, not required I would say so. so this is my boyfriend Isak Hello. and we have been together for about a year and a half and we met when I volunteered here two years ago and we kept talking ever since and he helps me with my Spanish and he's learning English so he will. 
be able to talk soon in English. <laughs> Bye. I just got home from running a couple of errands um, to get ready to go back home tomorrow at 3 in the morning. So I'm going to start packing here, but I also got a couple questions about the weather here. And it's hot. It's hot all year round. So somebody asked me what was the most useful thing that I brought here, and that would be bug spray. Um, there are so many mosquitoes here that carry dengue, which is one of the worst mosquito diseases you can get. I got it myself. All my friends here have got it. And so that was because I was lazy about, sorry it's so loud, I'm right in the middle of town so there's a lot of motorcycles. But I was lazy about putting on my bug spray. And it, karma. <laughs> so definitely bug spray, that is so important. So it's almost eight o'clock and I am exhausted. Sorry, today was kind of a chill day for me. Um, didn't get to go to the beach or anything because it was raining. Um, but I'm going to close out my Instagram takeover now. Um, but I will leave my Instagram handle here and I hope that everybody can follow me. If you have any more questions, please message me there. Um, I'm so happy I got to take you along on my day today. And yeah, thank you guys. Bye.